What is going on everybody? DJ Minds here and in today's video we finally get to try out the T-Rex for Hive OS update. I am so excited about this because everybody's been doing it on Windows and I'm like, man, I wish I could try it, but I don't really like Windows. I don't know, I don't really run Windows. I have a couple things on Windows, but I mean, that's more for like my personal gaming PC. I just love Hive OS so, so much. And right now I have to say, we've been testing this for about an hour and a half or so and it's working really well. So listen, if you're just here for the installation, I'm gonna leave a timestamp over here or over here or something, you can get into the installation but for anybody else who wants to hear me talk about the details i got a lot of important stuff that i think you're going to want to hear all right guys so at the making of this video we are currently at 39 subscribers as of october 10th 2021 road to 100 but that's not really why you're here please if you like this video consider subscribing anyways if we head over to the github for t-rex miner i'll put this link in the description below you can pick which one that you want to mine dual mine ethereum ergo uh raven and i'm not going to be using this one at all but i'll definitely be using ethereum and raven before you go any further make sure that you have at least eight gigabytes of vram if you're on hive os and you're going to need 10 gigabytes for windows that's not your computer right that's going to be your graphics card so today we're using 3060 ti's eight of them and they all have eight gigabytes so we're good to go just make sure you're not using like a 1070 or something not that you would probably want to use a 1070 but just make sure it has eight gigs whatever you are using or 10 for windows all right so how to actually set this up let's go over to a hive os select your miner and then go to flight sheet all right so i'm going to be using a Ethereum because I already had one established. I personally went to edit here and then I duplicated. I feel like that's the easiest thing. You're going to need Ethereum as your main. If you don't know how to do that, I could show you how to do a brand new one. You would go to flight sheet. You would go to Ethereum here. You would select your wallet. You're going to need your wallet from whatever you're using. Your pool. I've always liked Ethermine, US East. That's just where I am on the East Coast. Your miner, you're going to go over to T-Rex and then you're going to go to setup. All right. Now inside setup, there's only two things that we need to change here. Assuming that all of this is already filled out that's whatever you want to call it your worker name your wallet should already be filled out so the version this is the brand new one that just came out you can do the latest and that should work but i'd recommend just clicking on 0 0.24 0 0.0 just in case for whatever reason it doesn't feel like working head over to this box right here and drag down just like this I actually changed my password here so that's not my password if you're gonna try to steal my stuff just so you know this is my wallet address i'm gonna put all of this block right here in the description below feel free to copy and paste that but please understand that you're gonna have to alter a few things which we're about to get into so these top two lines already came with my hive os if not i guess you could just type this in right here again i'll put that in the description below just copy and paste and going back over to the github we're again gonna copy this right here just like that so when we copy and paste it it's gonna look just like this it's gonna say octopus in it it's gonna have these other urls and everything I'm going to go ahead and again, put this in the description below and give you the Ravencoin address for US East. If you're not using US East, you're going to have to just change this, but you can see all we did really was edit this on a notepad. And this is the link that I use for two miners. If you're going to use something different, you're going to have to go into Hive OS. You're going to have to look through the pool and then you're going to have to take the address through there. But if you just want to use two miners like I am here, it's already done for you. Under LHR Algo, I left the parentheses and I typed in Kapow again, instead of Octopus for URL. 12 there's the address of wherever you want to mine it could be europe or whatever that's up to you here's my wallet address up until this period is just the wallet address dot whatever your rig is named i don't know what you have your rig named av it could be booty liquor 3060 ti that's really up to you uh if you have a password put the password again this is not my password so don't even try it <laughs> but yeah it could be x it could be x12 i don't know whatever you have your password dev just go ahead and do that and then we're gonna copy here and paste it right there so it should look like this again this top two lines it already came with it i pressed enter one time and i pasted it here so make sure yours looks something like this i'm gonna have it in the description so you shouldn't have to do too much work but just edit it and make sure that you've changed your rig name and obviously your wallet unless you want to go to my wallet and give me your money which please don't do that so when you're done hit apply changes so when you're done it'll, you'll see a rocket ship kind of like right here but i think it'll be in this position and you would click that rocket ship all right so as far as your overclocks go let's go back to the github for ethereum and Ravencoin, they only have two GPUs shown, the 3060 and the 3080 Ti. I didn't really like either of these, but let's just look at it. They recommend 2600 on the memory. I could tell you right now, for me, this was a crash, instant crash. As soon as I do this, with zero core and 2600 memory on my 3060 Ti's, the whole thing just freezes instantly. It, there was nothing. I didn't even get a mine for maybe more than 10 seconds. I do not recommend 2600. Everyone will always tell you on Hive OS the memory is double. You know, maybe it works for other people. 
but I have like four rigs of 3060 Ti's, not full of 3060 Ti's, but they never ever have worked when I double the memory from Windows. They also recommend 102 watts for 3060. So of course you're going to have to upgrade that a little bit. As far as the overclocks that work well for me, zero on the core, 1600 memory and 130 power limit. The fans is whatever. I mean, you could, I do 80 because they're downstairs and it's hot down there and it's Ravencoin. So I was a little scared. And you know, every time you get with Ravencoin, it's supposed to be a little bit hotter and run your cards a little bit more. And these are actually the same settings almost that I would use for MB minor on the 70%, except for I would put this core as negative 100 normally, but zero for this Raven coin kind of combo. So to get into the Ethereum numbers a little bit more, I was at about 314, 315 mega hash on Ethereum. So I wrote that down. If we go over to what to mine, we'll just type in 314, calculate that. The number that I'm going to show you is how much I was making before trying this experiment, about $21.86 with MB minor 70% unlocked. For Ethereum, it's been a lot more unstable. As you can see right here, it's just been really smooth before I started dual mining and now it's just kind of moving around right here. So it's, it's kind of hard to say. It looks like it's going down a little bit. I don't know. The average is probably I don't know. I guess we could call it 140 just because I'm seeing some higher numbers there. So we'll just call it 140 for now. And 140 mega hash on Ethereum is getting us about $9.76. Please note that this has been going up and down, but it's about an average. I'm just kind of eyeballing. Now to look at our Ravencoin profits. This has been really unstable for me as far as the number that I see. I think it's because I haven't mined on two miner in a really long time. It's saying 112 mega hash, but if I go downstairs, it's like 120. So I'm, I think I'm just going to go with 120. I don't know. It's really hard to say because we already know that Kapow goes up and down, but it's been hitting up to 128. I'm getting 120, 150. I'm not really sure, but I can tell you right now, it's not getting 186 mega hash like this is saying. And earlier is 130. So yeah, let's actually go with the 125. I think that's a little fair because it is Kapow and you just never know what algorithm that you're on. So 1283 a day for the Raven. All right. So if we take that together again, I was making about $21.86 before, and then now we're adding 976 for Ethereum and then the Raven coin. And again, it's just moving so much for Raven. I'm not really sure if i'm using the right numbers but it's in the ballpark so about 2259 again this is all before electric so yeah we'll call it 2259 before is a little bit more I, i'm not really sure but what if we take 22 dollars and 59 cents subtract 21 dollars and 86 cents it's about 73 cents more a day earlier it was about a dollar a day and sometimes it was hitting like a dollar and 20 more a day so for a dollar 20 more a day is it really worth it hmm I don't know. This is tough. I think I actually might use this. I'm kind of liking it. And the reason is now I'm not going to take all my rigs and put them on Raven slash ETH right now, but it's interesting to me because I was talking to mining office the other day when we were playing some Diablo two shout out to mining office. He reminded me that Raven coin is having a happening or so I was like, Hmm, that's a good point. Maybe I do want some extra Raven. I have like $300 worth of Raven right now, but why not get some extra Raven? And plus I get to try this out more. And I'm really curious what your guys are getting on your rigs. Have you tried this? Are you going to try this? You try it on windows. Like what's it been for you? And let me know if my math is a little off, but I feel like the potential is really Really good because I already have like 1.4 giga hash right now on Ethereum. So why not mix it up a little bit? I'm only losing like 150 on the ETH side and making it up on a Raven side. So I don't know. I'm guessing 95% of my portfolio would be ETH. And we're just experimenting a little bit more with Raven. And I didn't have to raise the power limit at all. So it's going to be the same 130 watts. So I really like that. And yeah, it's not any warmer in there. I've looked at the temperature. It's exactly the same. So really interested to see how this works out long term. But but this is just the quick test. I also want to say thank you to T-Rex miners developers or however they want to call themselves. I really appreciate this because there's only so many people that are working to fix this LHR, NB miner, T-Rex, LOL miner, et cetera, et cetera. Like everybody that's trying to fix this problem. I really appreciate every single one of you. I, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, man, if you guys could one day fix this or we could do 70% ETH and then 30% Raven, like imagine the potential 100% unlock. I guess technically it's it's 100% unlocked, but it's not on one coin. But I feel like we're getting one step closer every time that these updates come out. And whether it gets it or it doesn't, I just appreciate every single one of you for trying it because people like me that have a full-time job and don't have the expertise or the knowledge of how to even attempt something like this. I really appreciate all of you. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We're almost at 100 subscribers and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.